Hey, uh, I don't have a concrete intro, but this is whatever I'm gonna call this. Pokemon Moon Battle something or other, uh, I already forgot. Anyway, um, I thought I'd start doing this because why not? I have some interesting replays, but I had some interesting replays and then an update happened today and then I can't view my old ones. So I was like, well shit, the day I start to do this and what happens? Anyway, um, interesting thing happened while I was lurking around in Festival Plaza. I got challenged by a battle, by, for a battle and hilariously enough, Greninja and Serena. That's funny. Um, hell, they're even using Free Maria, which is interesting because I also chose Pop Leo, but there's a thing about that Free Marina which was like, oh shit, I'm jealous. It's a shiny one. Anyway, um, very smart battle I had here, to be honest. I mean, usually I'm pretty stupid in regards to Pokemon, but oh my gosh, I was on the top of my game this time around. Um, anyway, I'm going to start it, so... Uh, Commentary! This is actually a re-uploading because I thought, well, someone suggested commentary and it's like, you know what, I would like to do that. Anyway, they're gonna start off with a Manosaurin and, uh, I started off with my Salazzle. So, first thing right off the bat is I'm scared because this thing definitely has Earthquake, so I just substitute and just pray. But then Stealth Rocks come out, so I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Um, so, I'm safe, I'm a free to attack, so I just say fuck it and fire blast. Oh my gosh, I should watch my language. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so used to swearing, uh, I don't care what it is. Anyway, so, it has a focus sash, but what happens next is amazing, it gets burned. So I'm like, thank you! Praise! So obviously the substitute's gonna go down right now because she's times four weakness to uh, ground, so not fun. But the burn ends up killing the nail slime, and uh, everything is comfy to work from there. So next they send out their shiny free marina, and I'm like, what? I want one, they're so pretty. Um, so. Obviously, being a part fire type, I'm at a disadvantage because that. But I assumed, and I made a safe assumption, that they were going to be locked into Hydro Pump, or that's their only water move. Because I assumed either Choice Specs, which is what most Pre Marina run, or that's the only water move. So I decided to just chance it and use Substitute, and it missed! So I was like, oh my god, I can get a free sludge bomb in. So that's exactly what I did. Didn't quite get the kill there, but uh, it lands Hydro Pump again. So I'm set with that it's locked into Hydro Pump right now. And if I did not have the substitute, that would have murdered me. But because I am faster, I am able to take it down with a Sludge Bomb. And... There we go. Two down and I haven't even switched yet. But here's where they set up something that scares me immensely because I know, because I also have one of these, it could take out my entire team in one fell swoop. Greninja. And if you don't know about uh, Greninja, the only Greninja you can currently get in Sun and Moon, it has the Battle Bond ability, which allows it to basically Mega Evolve as soon as it lands a kill. So, I just keep- I just swap to, uh, Tiffany over here, my Serena. Cause I am- just don't let it get a kill, I know I will get murdered. I decide to play it a bit safe here and use Synthesis just to heal, and, uh, funnily enough, they decide to switch. Which, I was a little bit surprised, and the outcome is Skarmory. And judging by its name being a, what was it again, a thorn? A thorn? Yeah, thorn. Um, I assume it's going to use spikes. But uh, I assumed wrong because uh, after rapid spinning to remove the stealth rock, he uses a whirlwind, which of 
We need a switch, which is a little surprising. But out comes my Lycan Rock, and I make the assumption they're going to uh, set up the hazards again, because, again, Nate Thorne. Skarmory is known for uh, setting up hazards and taking a lot of hits. And I say, you know what? We're going to break through this Skarmory, so let's flex, and it's time to murder. Oh, I'm so glad I put my Rocky and Z on my Lycan Rock. Continental Crush, part of Complete Breakfast. The Water Bill! Okay, I had to, I'm sorry. <laughs> All the JoJo fans are gonna kill me. Anyway, out comes the Greninja again. And I immediately get out of there. I, I uh, assume a Hydro Pump, so I go straight to Tiffany. But to my surprise... It tries to water shuriken, and I block it because Queenly Majesty prevents priority moves. That is insanely amazing. So it withdraws, and uh, I assume they knew that I was going to try to rapid spin, so they break out the Alolan Marowak, and obviously uh, normal moves won't affect it. And my uh, Trop Kick... My grass type is basically ineffective against the stink of part fire type, so I make use something to switch. Back to Ragna, my Lycan Rock Midnight over here. No matter what they say, Lycan Rock Midnight is amazing and nobody will stop me from using it over the day point. So I get burned over here, which hampers my uh, potential to probably one-shot this thing. So I say screw setting up at this point, because I assumed they were going to Earthquake. But surprisingly, no! They want to get that kill with Greninja so badly, so, uh... Stone Edge actually does a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Despite being burned, which, you know, uh, lowers my attack. And... I do not want that Greninja to get a kill. I assume the Hydro Pump, so obviously I switch back to my Farina. And, like I expected, the Hydro Pump, but it misses, which is amazing. Pure luck right there, which is even better because it was going to use Ice Beam next. And that if I got hit by the Hydro Pump, then the Ice Beam, I would have been dead. But because it chose to use Ice Beam, that finishes the Greninja. Main threat is gone. So I think all they have left at this point is their Alola Marowak and the, their their Serena. So here comes the Alola Marowak, and I was going to switch to my Salamence because I was predicting an Earthquake because I thought they were going to assume I was going to switch into my Lycanroc again, but no, they chose to forfeit because obviously I had not lost a single member of my team in that fight and they were down to their last two. Keep in mind I still had my Greninja my Salamence and my Ninetales, my Alola Ninetales, completely untouched for that battle yet. So, um, yeah, that was just really amazing. It was a lot of safe assumptions and, uh, pure luck, to be honest, thanks to the missing of the Hydro Pumps. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, this battle, and I don't even have an outro, uh, well, uh, just keep posted for, uh, other videos, question mark? I don't know, I need to think of one. Anyway, take care.